Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel once again. Today, we're going to be doing a video where I'm drafting this time. I did make this video on NHL 22, so if you've been watching me for more than a year, then you've probably seen the other one, but maybe not. So as the title suggests, that didn't sound quite right. Let's reload. As the title suggests, that sounded weird still, but better. You know, it's just a lot of going in there. Basically, every time our goalie lets in five or more goals, see you later. You're a suitcase, get packing, and hit the road. Because we need a new netminder, and I can't go ahead and trade for that goalie again either. So once they've played for our team, they can never play for our team again after they let in five or more goals. On the NHL 22 version, I did not- Ha! Fooled you! We got the Kraken. I'm down. I'm actually really down. But on a real note, the NHL 22 version was not a draft. This one will. But I'm gonna draft super quick. Like, it is gonna be a speed draft. That S in our logo does not stand for Seattle. It stands for speed. Easy peasy. Fantasy draft on. Let's do it. Pick number... 12? Maybe? Potentially? Probably not, though. I was very close. Pick number 14. We're near the middle. I have no idea how this is going to work out, but I'm drafting Fox. Mark Shifley, 6.1 million, 89 overall centerman. That's pretty solid. So I am not passing up. I'll give you Tarasenko on the wing. You two can hopefully create some magic. Throw JT Miller on the left wing. I should probably take a goalie soon, though, because we do want a good goalie. They have a less chance of letting in five or more goals. Wow, goalies went quick. What the heck happened? I don't even know who to draft. Maybe Villy? Oh, 1.8. But then we have to trade for... Mm, I don't know what to do here. You know what? I'm going Samsonov. Simply because he has all those abilities and I think that's good for line chemistry. Drafting McDonough to play alongside Fox. Our first line and our first defensive pair better have plus a million chemistry or I'm going to be fuming. Montour, the fantasy legend. Yes, please. I've been taking this guy what seems like every draft, so might as well keep up the trend. You know what I'm saying? This man is 36 years young and he still does bits. For 1 million, that is a steal. I almost feel like I should turn myself in because that is just clearly robbery. I'm not passing up on him this time. Again, the contract is just too good. Which I don't even know why I care that. I'm, I'm you know what? I do know why I care because then later on in the draft I can take better picks, but it's almost like I could take a better pick now, you know, and then take the budget picks later on, but I don't know. I don't know why I am so stubborn. It's just like, come on. How do you say no to that? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Don't mind me. I'm just drafting a Stanley Cup championship team. I haven't taken a backup goalie yet. I don't know how that worked in the last video. Did I just have it so that they could come in and be the new goalie? But then the title is misleading because it says I have to... No, it's not. I don't have to trade for a new goalie. We just... Anyway, I'll figure it out. I have $9 million for our final pick. And once again, I'm taking the man to myth. 91 face-offs. He's just good. Guy's taken a draw or two in his day. That's for sure. There you have it. That's what a Stanley Cup looks like in name form. I can't wait to get 20 wins this season. Also, this should be obvious, but I'm going to just put it out there. Preseason doesn't count. That's irrelevant and good thing it is because we had back-to-back -back <laughs> six goals scored on us here uh yeah no jt miller's going here thanks for trying though we only have roll three lines so this line not getting much action i'll just leave them at dash three ask me if i care go ahead go ahead i'm waiting plus five on the first line plus two with this one which is why i'm keeping it that way i don't know how it works but it works and then we have plus one on the third line defensively yes fire me vertical Fox and McDonough also a plus five. Jensen Cole plus two. Montour and Graves get a goose egg, but whatever. Ilya will be minding the net or tending the goal, if you will. So these back-to-back -back games, I kind of have to be careful. Oh my word. Well, that's not a good start. We have some cap space to work with here, which is nice. We got to find a team that wants him. We are dropping in overall, and I don't think that's worth it. Jonathan Quick and Stuart Skinner. No thank you. No wonder they want a goalie. Tell you what. Samsonov for Karel, who is also a legend in fantasy, by the way. I mean, <laughs> he does play for the Coyotes, 
And he somehow- no, never mind. Okay, so we won't be able to find a trade that way because everyone who wants a goalie wants a goalie for a reason. We could pick up Vitek Vanacek, the two Caps goalies that both left and now they are being traded for one another. He's one overall lower, listed as a starting goalie though. I don't think we'll be able to add in a draft pick though because it just seems fair. He's 26 and he's 25. What's going on here? Why is that trade value so fair unless I am totally seeing it wrong, but this ain't gonna work. Let's try it anyway. I'll give you our third. How about that? All right, we'll move up one round. Let's see if it works. No. You know what? With the trade value being that close, just one for one. Let's see if it even happens. Nice. The Smith is just kind of our journeyman, which I just realized. What if he was in for that game? He wasn't, but I kind of like the idea that some of the responsibility rests on his shoulders. You know, like he's our goalie permanently, but if he lets in five goals, then we have to get a new starting goalie because he is our backup. So in that way, the pressure's on him a little bit as well. All right, let's get our act together here a little bit. LA Kings, oh my word, it was close. We were one goal away. What is going on, by the way? That's more like it. I'll take the L, but just not, please don't let them. I thought they scored five. Why? Here we go. A one for one exchange, Swayman for Vanacek. 85 overall, two abilities. Vanacek doesn't, that's where we went wrong. Also, actually, I just realized it, it could have been to Smith. But anyway, Swayman, one for one. No, it's not going to go through. I could sweeten it, just a little touch here. Add in maybe a six round pick, shall we say? Propose that trade. Nice. Get in there, Jeremy. Has he... He hasn't played a game yet? I guess we are only five games into the season, but usually they don't do back-to-backs. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep it going here. I'm gonna say two games in a row, it doesn't happen. No shot. Why are we so bad? <laughs> That's my question. Okay, stringing together a couple wins here. I like it. Can we make it three? We sure can. Finally got a little bit of a breather here. That was a close call. I'm gonna say it doesn't happen in either of these two games. Smashville. Ooh, they almost had it. And the Wild. Never mind. All right, Jeremy, if that is your real name, it is time for... It was him, wasn't it? Oh, this will put us over the cap. How did we get so close to the cap all of a sudden? Well, this could be problematic. Jari, one for one. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to add a pick. I will try it though. No. Go ahead, toss a fifth in there. Brought it pretty close, still no. I feel like we're reaching here. I don't think this one's gonna happen. Yeah, all right, we'll move on. I'll bring a pick back this way instead. We'll get Carell for Swayman and a fourth. I mean, well, not Swayman, you know what I mean. You know what I mean because it was on the screen. Otherwise, you would not know what I mean. You'd have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, again, it would still make sense. It just wouldn't make sense. You know, like, why would I trade Swayman and a fourth for Carell? Nice. Uh-oh, Winnipeg has to trade their goalie. Just kidding. They aren't following the same rules. That'd be funny, though. If you could somehow enforce that. We're doing all right, you know. Spoke too soon. We're about a quarter of the way through the season and we've had how many goalies now? Four or five? Arizona would be over the cap. They're that close. Show me the money. Nope. I'm not going higher than a third. Nice. Now, obviously this can only take effect up till the trade deadline because at that point we aren't able to trade anymore. So yeah, this will only go till about two-thirds of the season. Montreal beat us 5-4. My GM rating has to be atrocious. Guy's got trade value. I don't think he'll be on the team very long, but <laughs> might as well try it out. One for one, and they accept it. Actually, who knows? Maybe Mans will go on a bit of a run here. He's not even really our starting goalie, because they're both 82. I don't know. This video's a mess. All right, this goalie duo has survived three games so far. I'm quite impressed. They will not survive four, though. Did we have Vanacek? No, we couldn't get him because of cap, if I remember correctly. But this might actually have potential? I stand corrected. Good thing I checked. We did have him. Cameron Talbot. We're upgrading one overall. And I will also be requiring a draft pick the other way because it is clearly in your favor. Proposed trade, they accept it. All right, Cam, let's see what you got. We lost three games in a row, but we haven't had to trade anybody. So I'm kind of down with that. Another loss, four game losing streak. We're on fire here. The Oilers, 
will be our first win in what feels like forever. We're not letting in five goals, which is nice. I was really expecting it to be that game because normally when I say stuff like that, it just instantly happens. But nope, not that time. That time though, we did in fact lose by a, <laughs> oh no! Guy has literally zero trade value. All right, we're going for a, a big guy here. We'll use Minnesota's fourth, our second, and Talbot to try and get Demko. I still think they're gonna say no. Uh, it's not there whatsoever. That's interesting, but also fair enough. James Reimer, it's not gonna go through one for one, will it? No. Minnesota's fourth? Should probably make this go through. Okay, relax. I just got Leafs legend, James Reimer, and you're gonna pretend that I got fleeced? All right, James, we need this. He's a 931. This guy's actually doing pretty good. Four games played, one win, but a 931 save percentage and a 232 GAA. That almost leads me to believe that Casey has never been the culprit in terms of having us trade a goalie. Here we go again. I'm very quickly remembering why I didn't want to make these videos on NHL 23. There, I'll throw a prospect in there. Give me Georgiev. 3.4 million, 85 overall. Yeah, sure. Okay, Alexander. Let's go ahead and hopefully do well. Wow, we won 5-4. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. If we let in five goals, gotta trade the goalie. So thankfully... We kept it one shy there. Got the Vancouver Canucks up next. Our record is not great by any means. 5-1 dub. Sixth in the division at the moment. We won, but at what cost? I'm gonna run out of goalies at this rate. I'm just giving up draft picks like it's nobody's business, but... Ooh, it is quite close. So if I toss in, let's say a seventh, I think they will happily accept they sure do. But yeah, in these types of videos, draft picks and prospects are basically just Halloween candy given out to every team. You know what? I'm going to do best lines because the game knows what's best. Yeah. Great job, NHL. This is our head coach preferred lines. They want Timothy Jimothy on the first line. All right. Well, I guess. The trade deadline is approaching... I see it. It's in sight. This guy literally played one game for us. He had a 917 with the Golden Knights, and he has a 760 with us. Amazing. Who's so in a fifth for Demko? No, it's not there whatsoever. I mean, yeah, if I watched that game, I would think the same thing. Did we ever end up getting Jari? I think we were considering, but never actually, yeah. So this could work. Tristan Jari for Vili Uso, one for one? Trade accepted. I really want Jari to last up to the trade deadline, but I know it's not going to happen. Also, screw the head coach. I'm making my lines here because they were superior in every way. Even though we have roll three lines, maybe I shouldn't have a dash three on line number four. So I'm going to do this instead. We got a zero and then a minus one. All right, strap in. Here we go. The New York Islanders. I'm done. I'm fed up. All right, thanks for watching. Yo, do you guys remember that time I wanted Jari to last till the trade deadline? Ha! <laughs> Jari for night? One for one? The value seems kind of close. We might have to give up something else. Okay. What if we add in, hear me out, a fourth round pick? They're still going to say no, but... Oh, it's quite close! We're right there! What about next year's seventh? I could do that. There you go. Calgary's at that. There we go! All right, what's the over-under on Spencer Knight lasting more than one game? Survived one against New Jersey. Will the goaltender duo survive too? They do. Philadelphia Flyers up next. That's all right. We take that. Winnipeg Jets. Going to be a 3-2 overtime W. Got the Flyers again. Last time it was low scoring. It was this time as well. Could this be our goalie? Maybe. Five more games. Come on. Just don't let in five goals in five games. Is that hard? I mean, like, in one sp single game of those five games, not overall, because that would be impressive. That's like a be a pro challenge I get. 4-2-W. Oh my goodness, we're so close. We're so close! Columbus! We might not have to- Yes! So for argument's sake, let's say I wanted to get Patrick Kane, and I was willing to give up, say, Vladimir Tarasenko. I'm gonna try this. I don't think it'll work, but it's worth a shot. Okay, so there's one other thing I'm gonna try. And if that doesn't go through, then I'm tapping out. Yeah, jump in there. Propo- That's not proposed trade. Can we get Hatrick Kane? The trade value looks very even, although they weren't super interested in what we were sending. 
No. I kind of like these videos where I can just trade freely. We're giving up a lot here, but I think it's worth it. Proposed trade. Still rejected, eh? Yeah, I just don't think it's in the cards. I tried, I really did. So, we're running with the team that we have. To be honest, I haven't been paying attention to our record whatsoever, because I've been too busy... ...being upset. <laughs> that we're letting in so many goals, but... ...we don't have to worry about it anymore. We have passed the trade deadline, so it's all good. Now we just need the team to do well. Have we even... We haven't yet. That's four. There we go, that would have been the first time... So, can we keep it to a limit of one after the trade deadline? Are we even going to make the playoffs? We might not. Oh, yeah? We're in, apparently. We finished fourth in the Pacific Division with 93 points. The 89-point Edmonton Oilers made it in. The Golden Knights are your President's Trophy winners. At 93, we should be in the upper half. Yeah, we're 13. And, oh, okay. Yeah, it was top 16 that made it. Shifley had 78 points, a nice amount of points out of Fox. 57 from Terra. I don't know what's going on there, but it's just not working. JT Miller with 55. Timothy Jimothy with 54. Okay, let's go, TJ. Isn't he on the third line as well? Spencer Knight did quite well. 913, 271. Casey. Couldn't have asked for any more out of you, honestly. Oh, sure. Yeah, Billy Huso killed it, apparently. But if we go and look at these stats... He played exactly one game for our team, and look how horrendous that is. He actually had five more wins than the next closest, so pretty convincing dub there. Adam Fox led defenseman. Fire me north, that is really good. Okay, we had a leading D-man worth taking him in the first round, I guess. McDusty and Marchie. Both got 103. Matthews had the most goals with 51. Tanner had the most penalty minutes, basically doubling the next closest. <laughs> oh, this guy's unreal. Oh yeah, that explains a lot. 26 scraps on the year, or should I say scarps? What a legend. Here's the playoff tree. Let's do it. I have an overwhelming sense of a first round exit, but let's see. St. Louis, Seattle Kraken. It is a 1-1 series. Oh no. Okay, well, at least we didn't get swept. I did not see that coming! The Winnipeg Jets are the round two opponent for the Seattle Kraken. Okay? Okay? In the Western Conference Finals. I did not see this happening. We have the Calgary Flames, and they're kind of dusting us. Never mind. Oh, I went to game seven! We were so close! The Jerks go on to win the Stanley Cup, and the Ontario Reign take home the Calder. So, fun fact, actually. One time I ordered a package from Amazon, and it said it was in Ontario. So I was like, oh, this is sick. It's probably coming soon. Um, it said Ontario CA. So I thought that was Canada, but I also thought that was kind of weird. No, it was Ontario, California. So long story short, the package was not delivered that day. Also, another quick little tale for you. What a legend this man is. Shifley had 17 points. We got 14 from Barabanov, 12 from Tarasenko and Miller, but... This guy stole the show. Can't blame Spawns. He had 11, 6, and 2 with a shutout, 921. Played well. Markstrom had a 927 save percentage. Got a 926 from Capo. Seth Jones led defenseman with 16 points. And then we have a trio of 14s for four words. It's Cooch. So he's taking home the con Smythe. The team awards. There you go. And individually, I'm just gonna not blast through them because hello. Panarin with the Lady Bing. Do I see any other Seattle logos? I mean speed logos. No, I do not. There's your playoff tree. Uh, this video actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. 50 minutes in. Not bad at all. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.